Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to help you decide which bank for your high interest savings account is best for you, whether it is UBank or the high interest savings with the ING. Now, obviously, before we get started, just to let you know, this is general advice only. You will need to decide if this is right for you. And both of these banks do fall under the financial claim scheme. So they are back safety net for deposits up to $250,000 per account per holder for ADI. Now, main meat and potatoes. So currently with UBank at the time of recording this video, which is the 10th of the 10th, 23, uh, they are offering a 5% per annum. Now, it's a variable interest rate on your savings account, so this may be subject to change at any time, but this is currently what they're offering. Now with UBank, um, as you scroll down, the main component to get your 5% per annum, all you simply need to do is deposit $200 per month. So this is not including internal transfers, but from an external account into your UBank account uh, to qualify for that 5% per annum. And that is it. It is as simple as that. Now, with the savings maximizer with ING, up here we do have up to a 5.5% uh, per annum. Now with ING, they do make it a little bit more challenging to hit this 5.5% per annum. So if you're an eligible customer, you could get a great ongoing variable rate, 5.5% per annum every month. Uh, there is no welcome teaser and it's available for up to $100,000. Now just note that with UBank, this is up to the amount of $250,000. Now as we scroll down, the main criteria that you're gonna to have to meet with ING is you're going to need to deposit at least $1,000 from an external source to any personal ING account in that name, including Living Super and an orange one. You'll also need to make five or more settled not pending eligible ING card purchases per month uh, and grow your nominated savings maximizer balance excluding interest earned from the current month. When the criteria is met on the calendar month, the benefits of the additional variable rate will apply in the next calendar month. Available on one account of balances up to $100,000. So yes, they do give you a higher percentage of 5.5% per annum on a total of $100,000, but you are going to have to meet many more requirements to achieve this amount. So in that case, it may be the right one for you. Uh, however, if you are looking for a more simple approach, UBank is probably the slightly easier version. It still gives you a fantastic 5% per annum on combined balances. So it doesn't matter which account you transfer this into. It can be your spend account or it can be your savings account. Um, as long as you're transferring that $200 per month, not included uh, in your internal transfers into any of your accounts in your UBank account. Now, there are also no monthly fees on any of your savings accounts. You can also open up to 10 save accounts to stay on top of your goals. So you can split up your account into 10 different sections with different goals that you might have. Uh, you can set savings targets. Uh, and of course, um, deposits are guaranteed up to $250,000 per customer. And in my opinion, I do think that UBank is currently uh, having the best offer at the moment and that may be subject to change in the future So keep an eye out um, But this would be the the preferred bank for your high interest savings If you could choose one at this moment out of ING or UBank Now if you found this helpful make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time